All of that is fantastic, but unless we can get it into a server environment and deploy it broadly in enterprises and take it all over the world, it's really quite more pointless. We want to figure out a way to get this technology into the hands of users as fast as possible. The enterprise computing environment and the enterprise computing industry is going through a revolutionary change. Very few people in the world could tell you the past, the present, and the future of enterprise computing like our next guest. I met this gentleman 25 years ago. I was just a kid, and I was a young computer engineer. And this gentleman was already, at that time, building what has turned out to have been the highest volume, the first of a generation of symmetric multiprocessing servers. He was working at a company called Sun Microsystems and created the Sun Dragon. Uh, he went on to work on many more important computing uh, servers for enterprise computing. He is now a group vice president, a senior vice president and GM at a company all of you may know, a company called Cisco, and he's working on the next generation of enterprise computing. Please welcome with me, please, David Yen. David, Hi. Yes, welcome. Well, like our last guest, like our last guest, everybody here knows your work. They have somehow been affected by your work. Their packets, their internet packets have touched your computer in some way. Uh, in, and, and I'm certain whether it's, uh, whether it's because of your work at Sun, uh, whether it's because of your work at Cisco, uh, all of our packets have somehow been touched by your work. I want to congratulate you for that, and thank you for coming. Um, David, what is, what is happening in the enterprise computing world? What is the big opportunity that you guys see? What brought Cisco into the server business, and why are you there? Well, obviously, everyone now are talking about virtualization, talking about cloud computing, you know, to gain the efficiency, to gain the agility. So, literally, this cloud computing is changing the old kind server models. And actually, a server, a data center, a cloud are becoming synonyms. And further, all the applications, in order to abstract away all these underlying infrastructure, they are all programmed in a style that can be applied to a single server or to apply to a cloud. So with this, in anticipation of this, uh, Cisco Systems actually, as early as 2004, 2005, started devising this unified computing systems, which is literally a miniaturized cloud computing platform. This is called the, the Cisco UCS. Correct. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, together with the management software through the uh, service template and the Northbound API, it is designed to be guided by the applications or management software on, running on top of it. So you talk about BYOD, you talk about virtual desktop infrastructure, which actually is actually the number one application running in the entire global Cisco UCS install mm -hmm. base. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that, and we are very glad to have opportunity to work with NVIDIA together. And, and David, so we're working on a brand new we're working on a brand new server together. And the server that we're working on together addresses some of the bottlenecks that exist today in VDI. We've been able to uh, stream video. So video conferencing is now possible. We can now access the internet. We can now um, have some basic enterprise desktop applications remotely hosted and remotely served to our, our, um, our enterprise users. What are some of the bottlenecks that take that keeps you from taking it to the next level. What do you see um, the benefit of the NVIDIA VGX, and how does it apply to your vision here at Cisco? Well, we can always use more performance. But both the compute performance and networking performance, the data come from the end users to the cloud data centers and back to the end users. A better application performance will translate to better end user experience. And this is the, the, the major challenge. And furthermore, to, in, to achieve higher economic efficiencies, 
We like to, with a single physical server, and yet be able to support as many virtual sessions as possible. Yeah, that's really a good point. With a singular unified server, you can now support more users, but you could also support more different types of users. Absolutely. Whether it's task, task workers, knowledge workers, power users, it doesn't really matter anymore. This one unified UCS could be deployed enterprise-wide. Yeah. In fact, from Cisco perspective, we do see more and more media-related traffic in this whole cloud era. And NVIDIA is an innovator in when it comes to rich media experience. This is why we definitely have the shared objective for the benefit of the end user experience. Well, David, I can't tell you how excited I am to work together again. It's been 25 years. Yes. And, uh, and we have an opportunity to build something revolutionary again. Absolutely. David, thank you very much. Yeah, thank All you. All right, congratulations. VGX, our first product based on the virtual GPU technology of Kepler, NVIDIA VGX. VGX target application is to accelerate VDI, to have a GPU accelerate, v, GPU accelerate VDI experience and to deploy it enterprise-wide. And it's wonderful to have the partners that, that came on stage with me.